from Battelle's Kitchen and today I am super excited to be sharing with you a beautiful brownie recipe that is made with sweet potatoes it is vegan and gluten-free and so easy to prepare and it is perfect for Passover which is just around the corner and I know that Passover is a holiday where it's a little bit harder to eat more plant-based more vegan and more things that don't require so many animal products like eggs but today I'm going to show you all my secrets, how to make the best brownie recipe that is good for you and delicious and guilt-free for you and your kids. And you're going to love it and I'm so excited to share it with you. All the measurements are going to be in the description box below or on my website, patelskitchen.com. And if you're looking for some more inspiration for Passover, you can check out my ebook, Not Just Potatoes, or my online course that has beautiful ideas for Passover that are easy, vegan, and gluten-free and so creative on my website, metalskitchen.com. Okay, let's jump into the recipe. We are going to start by peeling our sweet potato and usually one sweet potato is enough in order to get three-fourths of a cup of mashed sweet potato. So we're going to cut it into small little cubes and you have the option to either put it in the microwave or the way I do it today is just to boil it in a regular saucepan until it is fork tender. But the cutting part is important because that will determine how fast the potatoes will cook. So we are dicing the potatoes and we are dumping them into a saucepan. We are going to bring it to a boil and cook it for exactly 10 minutes. And we are going to check it with a fork and it should be fine and ready to go. We are going to dip a big spoon into the water and scoop the potatoes or alternatively we can pour it into a colander and transfer it to a plate. With a fork, we are going to mash the potatoes until they're very, very mashed, very thoroughly, because we don't want to have any strings or chunks in the brownies, especially if kids are going to eat from it. We want to hide the orange color. So into a measuring cup, we're going to transfer the sweet potatoes, making sure that it's the exact measurement. And then we're going to transfer it to a bowl. To that, we're going to add our wet ingredients, which is plant-based milk and our almond butter. We're going to mix everything to combine until everything is very well incorporated. And only then we're going to start to add our dry ingredients. I like to use a mesh colander in order to sift the dry ingredients because then we really are making sure that we don't have any lumps or any white unincorporated parts into the brownies. So I'm using my hand or the back of a spoon in order to help the flour go through the sift. And now I'm adding my cocoa powder and my potato starch and baking powder. And now we're going to sift it until everything is ready to go. And a little pinch of salt as well. Once we have all the ingredients in the bowl, we are going to mix everything until it is combined. And once everything is combined, I like to add the chocolate chips. However, I like the brownies a little bit on the wet side, more on the fudgy side. So I'm adding a little bit more of the milk in order to make the consistency a little bit more wet. If your potatoes drank a little bit of the water, the consistency will be more wet naturally. I'm adding a little bit of water to my pan in order to help the parchment paper stick. And now we're going to transfer 
all the batter into the pan and with the back of a fork or a spoon or a spatula we're going to spread all the batter into the pan we're also going to sprinkle a little bit more of chocolate chips for a good measure and we're going to put it in a preheated oven for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes on 350 we're going to take it out of the oven and this part is extremely important we have to let the brownies rest for at least half an hour before we cut into it using a sharp knife we're gonna cut the brownies into nine pieces starting by cutting one side into three rows and then we're gonna tilt the parchment paper and cut it to three more parts And now all you have to do is make yourself some good coffee on the side and maybe some fresh strawberries to serve it with. Transfer it to a plate and enjoy this really decadent and healthy and gluten-free and kosher for Passover dessert that is so delicious and nutritious and very easy to whip up in no time even the sweet potato part which could seem like the longest part takes only seven to ten minutes in order to whip this together these brownies are really really decadent they are fudgy they're creamy they're sweet and delicious and even good for you i hope you're gonna give them a try and if you feel like you need some more Passover inspiration, head on to my website, batelskitchen.com, or check out my ebook, Not Just Potatoes, or my online Passover course, which can teach you so many recipes for the holiday and for every day and for breakfast and dinner that are gluten free and vegan as well. Definitely a game changer. Thanks so much for watching. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're gonna give these brownies a try. If you did, don't forget to let me know. And also, if you need some more inspiration on your Passover menu, check out my website. I have a lot of recipes over there. Or let me know in the comments below so I can work on some more for you guys. And if you need some more inspiration for all year round, for a healthier menu, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities, where you can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.